Jensen, I'm in your detention camp and uploading to the security mainframe now. Copy that. Any problems? Negative. I gotta say, though, this isn't exactly what I was picturing when you described it. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. Right now, you need to get inside the interrogation wing and find out what Burke is like. Contact me when you know. Keitner out. Yeah, another loading screen. Hey, 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 hey. It's gonna be okay. I'll get you out of here. Skip this one. It just shows him going through a door. Found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. However, you still have that retinal prosthesis you stole from his office? If you're suggesting I use it to fool a retinal scanner, it won't work. The eye synthetic tissue spike needs to be connected to a real optic nerve. Otherwise, it just reads as metal. I know. That's why you need to take it to Quinn. I'll tell him to expect you. Keitner out. Hello? I heard you. 
Hey, you didn't. Hey, Quincy. So Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find. Keitner, contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is willing to turn whistleblower if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. Keitner. What the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Burke must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. Oh no, Kaitner. What an unexpected turn of events. Where's your gun? A gun.
Alex Morgan will free. You'll sleep on the screen. Can you come on tower? It's almost like you're back inside the base. Why do I want to go there? You don't have too much. I'll have to take scanning with you. You're making me. Good work. Gamma, I'm about to hatch the fragment before we go around the side. It's over. Just make sure Mr. Paul gets that evidence. I'm going after Buck. Just now. Corporal Tyler? Or should I say Adam Jensen? That's right. I know who you are now. Katna wasn't quite as good at hiding her tracks as she thought she was. You're clever. I'll give you that. Most men aren't capable of seeing beyond the choice in front of them. But whatever you think you've done, it's of no consequence. Helping that fool Kavanaugh escape. Saving the lives of a few worthless civilians. It won't change anything. All you've done is make yourself a target. The Reed woman, this Megan you've been searching for, she's not here. And the only thing standing between you and the ship that could take you to her is me. I underestimated you back on the ship. I won't be doing it again. Lot, you there? Quinn? Where are you? Getting the R's out of Dodge. Burke's had enough, and he's gunning for you. And I don't intend on being caught in the bloody crossfire. But listen, that trick you pulled with the gas, fucking brilliant work that was. Head to me shop. I left you a thing or two so you can give him hell. I'd like to say we'd meet again over a pint sometime, but, well, Godspeed, mate. Damn it. You're not getting it, so suck a dick straight up. Potential. Although from what I've heard, I suspect you 
will still be of use to me dead. Sounds like your struggles are almost over, Bratan. Is Bart dead? I'm standing. He's not. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, you don't make things easy, do you? Still, with Bart out of the picture even briefly, as a power vacuum I can use, a return to Loading Bay 2. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, it can be on it. Bratan. Quinn? <gasps> I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Who knew? Uh, Interpol. Please continue. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail, but I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be found on board in stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, man. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset.
Perfect. Okay. Wrong, I pinged you, and a second later, I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. You must have done something, Jensen. Four of our GPL signals just popped up, including yours. Koss, Colvin, Faraday. I'm not picking up Dr. Reed. Send me the coordinates you do have. And Pritchard, tell Sarah. I can't. While you were incommunicado, Mr. Darrow invited him, Bill Taggart, and the UN delegates to Panchea. They're halfway to the Arctic by now. Great. Open, damn it. Da 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 Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. I think I'll watch this one. 
I don't know who wants all these creepy muscle statues. Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, Zell. You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. He's you right behind you, you fool. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately? No. Let me guess. That was supposed to shut me down, right? Leave me broken and begging? The Ogs are recalled! You should be offline! <laughs> Women never fail to underestimate men. You should have stayed dead, Jensen. I found it disagreed with me. I don't really want to watch him die again. Hilarious as it is. Painkillers. Boop, boop. Jaren, is that you? Not exactly. <gasps> Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you. It's me. You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries? They came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't. And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David, what are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it in you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here... Richard! Patch me into Sarah. Now! Adam, please! He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Saraf here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. <laughs> Modify the control signal. 
Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. You never said anything about this. Of course Let's not. Go back for the scientists. No, Adam. I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. Will do. Jensen, what the hell's going on out there? Broadcast frequencies are going haywire. Malik, is that you? Where are you? Coming into visual range of Singapore now. Been in the air since Pritchard first pinged you. Good timing. I'm heading for a hangar bay to open the roof. I'll need an emergency extraction. Roger that. I'm on my way. Hey, Jensen! Looks like you could use some help! That was very helpful. I see the scientist, Jensen. I'm landing nearby. And I think Dr. Reed wants to speak to you. Hang on. Come on, everybody. Get to the other side or your models can disappear because there's no entrance into that thing. Hello? Wait. Adam? We're all fine, but you have to get to Panchea and stop Q. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks. But you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes. And it's up Secrets. to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. Someone has a Cyber boost bar. Had to be the last guy I checked. Automated systems online. Darrow sequence one. Code one one A. Preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Begin countdown. Code zero zero zero. Confirm zero. Countdown commencing. Yay. I also like this cutscene. Even more hilarious. How did he get out of that? I don't know. Did he use his Icarus landing system? Well, Icarus crashed into the water too, so that's a terrible name for that thing. Jensen. Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower. Richard, Panchea's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override them manually. From up in the tower. I got it.
I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. I think I do. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Daryl? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done. Believe me. I take no pleasure in it. Protocol 420, blaze it. <laughs> Joke. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. Human I'm ending this now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Pancheo's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. You think humanity needs to be punished, is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. You, of all people, should be able to understand this. In your former career, were you not sometimes called upon to kill in the line of duty? To carry that grim responsibility in order to save others? You must realize this is no different. Only the scale has changed. Because the threat we face as a species is so extreme. You've convinced yourself you're right, but whatever moral high ground you're standing on is nothing but a stack of innocent victims. You're trying to justify genocide. All your talk about ethics and ideals doesn't mean a damn compared to that. Genocide? I'm trying to save our species, and you... You keep twisting my words. Oh, why did I expect this to turn out differently? People like you. People who willingly surrender their humanity a piece at a time. You'll never understand. And browbeating won't get me to change my mind. You can talk and talk and talk... But in the end, you'll still fail to grasp the fundamental underlying truth. You know, I've always wondered about that leg brace of yours. Why the father of augmentation doesn't have the most basic of implants. Doesn't make much sense, really. Unless he's one of the few people genetically incompatible with this technology. Gotta love the irony in that. It's the kind of irony that can tear you up inside, bit by bit, every day, until you find yourself despising what you're not. How dare you? You think I've done all this because... because a fluke of nature robbed me of my chance to become a part of it? I tried everything, damn you! Everything I could think of to change! None of it worked! None of it! So you had to fix it, didn't you? Take back control, make it like it never was. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I... What I... I... What have I done? Give me the codes, Daryl. Help me stop this. You'll still be in danger. Pancheo's security system, much of it is self-determining. And lethal. But if you succeed... If these codes help you turn off the system and reach the broadcast center, tell the world exactly why I did it. Explain to them about the Illuminati, the biochip. How do 
Shea. I can do that. Help them understand that the technology I created will not be a future any one of us desires. Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. Let's see, what do you say? Okay. Don't even recall. Protect the Illuminati, I presume. Even the map paintings in this game are good. Like the perspective on this one is so good. And the lighting. Perf. Still looks good even though it's like what, six? Five or six years old? Character models are kind of janky, but you know. Who cares? Not me. Fighting Zal. Alpha Pod security in place. To access Alpha Pod, purge tertiary pods. I must be the one to alter the signal. Once I do, the council will welcome me with open arms. Or not. Is out. Oh, 
Yeah, stupid as hell to stand right by that thing. Oh, Zal, we hardly knew ye. Hello, Adam. Welcome to the Edge. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza? What are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place, including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know. About the biochip, the Illuminati, everything. He believed knowing the truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Daryl's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. However, if you desire, I can alter Darrow's message. Conceal the creation of the biochip while putting in new content. Content blaming the humanity front. Like Sarah suggested. The organization has already admitted to harboring terrorists. It would be easy to convince people they turn to biological warfare in a more desperate attempt to get rid of augmented people. But why? What would that achieve? In time, it could shift the focus of hatred onto people whose prejudices are seen as too extreme, leaving corporations free to experiment with human evolution as they desire. But if you want me to perform this edit for you, you must disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Alternatively, Darrow's message can be adjusted to erase all mention of the power group known as the Illuminati. I can report that lack of proper regulation allowed vast quantities of neuropazine to become contaminated prior to reaching the market. Taggart's preference. You think the world will buy a made-up story about neuropazine poisoning? You might be surprised by what people believe. I can convince them, and having experienced the negative effects of corporate negligence firsthand, a majority of people might force the world to place harsh restrictions on all human enhancement research. But only if you disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Of course, there is another option. This passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself. Overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Including me. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own? Now, ironically... My first instinct is to tell the truth, but I think that might be the worst. The second is to destroy everything, but the Illuminati might be the way to go because it will put a limit on things and it won't be quite as reckless as Sarah. So all of these are actually quite good choices, I think. But I'm gonna choose the unadulterated truth and Darrow and choose Darrow's. May well convince mankind to cast all science and technology aside to ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Albert Einstein said. Technological progress is like an axe in the hands of a pathological criminal. 
took me a while, but I finally see his point. How often have we chased the dream of progress, only to see it perverted? More often than not, haven't the machines we built to improve life shattered the lives of millions? And now we want to turn that dream on ourselves to fundamentally improve who we are. Experience has shown me how dangerous that can be. How many times in the Call of Duty did I almost fall into the trap of taking shortcuts, of using my abilities or the resources at hand? I resisted. Barely at times, because I valued human lives and considerations. Can I truly despise others who fall? Technology offers us strength. Strength enables dominance, and dominance paves the way for abuse. Darrow understood this. He knew that using technology to become something more than we are risks losing our ability to love, aspire, or make moral choices. The very things that make us human. It also risks giving some men the power to make others what they choose, regardless of the cost to human dignity. The suffering Darrow inflicted is not the end of the world. It is merely a seed for change. And change never comes without pain. So there's a lot to say about this game and what I hope to see in the sequel. The fact that they you got to the end and like you could choose a button to choose which one you got it's fucking whack considering how free and open the rest of the game was there were some points that seemed a little restrictive even though there were mo multiple ways to say go into the police station etc um, but overall I like it I like the freedom of choice I wish they had uh, greater side quests but the ones that are there are fun and like easy to do quickly so that's what i hope to see in the next game too because i love the side quests i like the choice and ideally they learn their lesson about the ending and the boss battles which they redid for this but they're still kind of whack because the most efficient way is to stun them or use the typhoon or both uh yeah and that's it so i'm just gonna stop it here and figure out how i'm going to edit this later